Chapter 4, Dumb Ollie. I got off the bus at my corner, then I ran to my house, speedy quick. Help, help, I'm in big trouble, I yelled to mother, because I accidentally shot off my big fat mouth on the bus, and now I have to paint and unlock stuff and save people from danger. Only what kind of stupid, dumb job is that? Back here, called mother. Back here means the nursery. The nursery is the place where my new baby brother named Ollie lives. I ran there my very fastest. Mother was rocking Ollie in the rocking chair. He was a little bit sleeping. I need to talk to you very bad, I shouted some more, because I did a big fib. Fib means she didn't tell the truth, maybe? And now I don't know how to get out of it. Just then, Ollie waked up. He started crying very much. <laughs> Great, said Mother, very growly. Yeah, only sorry, but I'm upset here, I explained. Ollie screeched louder and louder. <laughs> His voice sounded like a scratchy, sore throat. Mother put him on her lap. Then she rubbed the sides of her forehead with her fingers. Oh, I think she, I think she might have a headache. That's because she had a migraine headache, I think. You're just going to have to wait until I get the baby settled again, she said, still grumpy. Yeah, only I can't wait because Mother butted in. Not now, Junie B. I'll, t I'll be out to talk to you as soon as I can. Now please go. Then she pointed out the door. Pointing means O-U-T, out. Darn it. Oh, I said darn it, darn it, darn it. Because that dumb old baby takes up all mother's time and he's not even interesting. And here's Junie B waking her baby Ollie up, brother Ollie up, while her mom has a headache. He doesn't know how to roll over or sit up or place Chinese checkers. He's a dud, I think. Oh, uh, well, of course we know that he's a new baby and he's going to be learning lots and lots of things. It just takes time. I would like to take him back to the hospital, but Mother says no. After I left the nursery, I went outside in my front yard. Then I sat in the grass all by myself and I played with a stick and another ant. Only this stupid ant bited me, and so I had to drop a rock on his head. Finally, my daddy's car came into the driveway and my heart got very happy. <gasps> daddy's home! Daddy's home! Hooray! Hooray! I yelled. Then I ran to him and he picked me up and I gave him my most biggest hug. Oh, I'm very glad to see you, I said, because on Monday I have to dress up like what job I want to be, except for I accidentally said I'm going to paint and save people and carry lots of keys. Only what kind of dumb bunny job is that? My dad, my daddy put me down. His eyebrows looked confused at me. Uh, can we talk about this at dinner? He asked, no, I said, we have to talk right now because I've already waited all I can and I'm getting tension in me. So I think she's feeling a little frustrated. Well, I'm afraid you're just going to have to wait a little longer, said Daddy, because right now I've got to see if your mother needs help with the baby. Then he did a kiss on my head and he walked right into the house. And guess what? Sometimes I wish stupid, dumb Ollie never even came to live with us.